It has been an unusually mild winter in parts of the North Country and Adirondacks. In fact, the National Weather Service says this has been the warmest winter on record in Saranac Lake. And so for Saranac Lake, it came out to 24.1 degrees. So that beat the previous record from 2015, 2016, it looks like it beat it by six tenths of a degree. So it was a pretty large margin. Northeastern US, and particularly, I know for Burlington, Vermont, the, there is definitely a distinct warming trend in winter temperatures faster than over uh, the full year. So that is definitely a trend we've noticed. The record warm up has had a significant impact on recreational activity, like skiing. Definitely the shortest on record for what we keep for records for tubing and skiing, which date back to the early, early 90s, late 80s. Andy Testo, who manages the ski areas for the village of Saranac Lake, says Mount Pisgah will likely close before the end of March due to the warmer weather. This is probably one of our final days. It's unexpected on the short end side of things. We're probably about 25, 30 days short on skier traffic days and uh, we lost a fair amount of uh, days that we would also be open for snow tubing this winter too because of all the warm weather and lack of snow and quantity of rain we've gotten. Saranac Lake isn't a stranger to mild winters, but Kurt Steger, a professor of natural science at Paul Smith's College, says the frequency in which the area experiences warmer winters will only increase due to climate change. The difference is because the whole planet is warming and we're warming along with it, the baseline temperatures are going up and lifting everything up. So when we fluctuate, we fluctuate at a warmer level. And so uh, our, we always had winters when there was kind of a freakish thaw somewhere in the middle there, but um, nothing like what we've seen in the last few years. Warmer levels that he says affect more than just Adirondack recreation. Winter is a major ecological thing and also an economic and social thing for people around here as well. Um, it can affect um, the ecology of the lakes. Um, the less ice you have, the longer the lake is exposed to the warmth of summer, and that can have water quality effects. It can affect the fish in the lake and things like that. It also has to do with uh, whether you have the snow cover on the ground, for example. It, uh, the snow can actually protect some animals like mice from, it makes it harder for the foxes and owls to get them. And so there can be effects on the food chain too. But uh, people are, are greatly affected as well. So um, our economy is largely centered around winter. And so really is our identity as Adirondackers. Um, we have a long history of winter Olympics and winter sports here as part of uh, what makes us special. Uh, we've got uh, more than a century of winter carnivals and ice palaces in Saranac Lake. We've got a snowmobiling mecca in Old Forge. All of these are changing and we've especially seen it in the last few years. Meantime, those in charge of recreation will look for creative solutions, like producing more man-made snow to ensure that winter activities continue to be an Adirondack staple.